Hey, my name is Sully, and for my final vlog entry, I'm going to talk about Rushmore by Wes Anderson. It's a film that I thoroughly enjoyed uh, for a lot of reasons, and I'll talk about my favorite scene with you after I run down the plot. Uh, so, the plot basically is just that Max is a student at this uh, elite prep school uh, in Texas called Rushmore, and he's really sharp witted, he's playfully conniving, and uh, he's just a he seems like he's a good kid. But uh, Max struggles academically, and it's not because he's a poor student, but it's because he's really involved in a lot of extracurriculars, and they take up a lot of his time. It's obvious that he values them over his, like, uh, his academics. Um, he's got this really mature demeanor to him. He acts like he's, like, a, an adult. He's 15, so it's a little weird. Um, and that causes him to treat his headmaster like a peer, and that causes a lot of problems. And he and the headmaster have a bit of a feud. Um... Uh, so when a teacher comes to the school and Max falls in love with her, uh, there's like this weird obvious di age difference and this teacher-student relationship that, you know, you, you just can't really have like a romantic relationship there. He, uh, he o overlooks those and he tries to pursue her romantically. And in the process of trying to woo her, uh, he crosses a lot of lines. Um, some of them are personal, while some of them are sort of illegal. And uh, ultimately he gets booted out of the school. And his love for the teacher never comes to fruition, but he uh, learns a lot about himself and a lot about adulthood, and it all works out in the end. But, um, so that's enough about the plot. I'll talk about my favorite scene now, which is this really killer montage. Uh, it showcases Max's involvement in the school, so the extracurriculars, like I was mentioning before. Um, so it starts out, uh, it's got a lot of different points of view of Max, and it shows, you know, all of his, uh, all of his involvements. And, you know, it shows off that he's the uh, president of the French club, captain of the uh, fencing team, president of the beekeepers club, and he's the founder of the astronomers club. You know, there's a lot of other stuff going on there. And there's this really cool British, uh, it seems like a British rock song going on that really, like, gives the British invasion feel, you know, like cool kids and blazers. And I think that the music and the sound of this scene really embodies and characterizes Max so well because he kind of has this, like, charming rock star personality that he feels about himself you know he wears a blazer um and he you know he's really smug and he's proud of who he is and his achievements and so the music really fits well but then also the montage itself is just really well done i think i think you know there's a lot of different um points of view for the camera that i think is cool because a lot of montages you know they're either just all over the shoulder third person or they're all first person or you know some second person but in this montage it's mixing up the points of view a lot, and I think that's really cool. Uh, sometimes it's first person, sometimes it's second person. You know, you, you basically, as the viewer, you're just seeing his involvement um, over time in a lot of different clubs condensed into one minute long scene. Um, and it's also great because he constantly breaks the fourth wall. Uh, he like smiles at the camera a little bit, you know, looks right, looks you right in the eyes, and gives you this smug little like, you know showing off that he's proud of who he is and his involvement in these extracurriculars and that really sets the precedent in just this minute long scene that max his entire life kind of revolves around the school all of his pride all of his you know his successes his happiness all lies in rushmore and in this quick minute long scene uh wes anderson really sets the stage that if max weren't going to rushmore anymore he would be you know he wouldn't have a life anymore he'd be crushed uh, he wouldn't have any enjoyment, and it's all because of this one minute long scene, and it really, you know, it comes in later in the movie that he gets kicked out of the school, and I, you know, he has a lot of emotional reactions to that, and I don't think the uh, viewer could sympathize with him at all if they didn't, if they hadn't seen this little montage, and it's just a minute long scene, really sets everything up great, really characterizes Max, and I think it's a really well done scene by uh, Wes Anderson and his team.